Well, for more on the use of biofuels, uh, we can speak now to the CEO of Mother Earth Investments. Roland Jansen uh, joins us live from Zurich. Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, biofuels is clearly a fascinating subject, but uh, it does come in for criticism because of the amount of agricultural land that uh, it was used to produce the kind of first round of biofuels, the corn that people said would have been better used uh, feeding the world rather than uh, powering it. Are things changing? Yes, things are changing. You are just mentioning biofuels of the so-called first generation. Agricultural produce like corn, and like soya, and like rapeseeds. China already has forbidden to produce biofuels out of agriculture, and we are now going to biofuels of the second generation, which means biofuels produced out of algae, out of the sea, out of biomass, out of 200 kinds of nuts, like Jatropha, like uh, Camelina, like Pongomia. And we are producing now already Jatropha oil in China. And this second generation biofuels, I think, is becoming a monster market whereby there is no competition between fuel and food. Mm. The demand is absolutely staggering. Now, you talk about a monster market. Can you give us uh, some idea of the scale? What do you think, uh, as an investor, that this market could be? Yeah, we, at Mother Earth Investments, we already now have an order book for one million tons of crude Jatropha oil. We cannot deliver it today. We will need to take some more time before Mother Nature has helped us to grow all these oily trees. But this is an illustration of how big the demand is. And with the carbon credits coming on January 1st, 2012, the airlines will be presented a big bill, which might halve their profits. So we are now slowly but surely going towards a world, a pass of zero carbon emissions in the aviation industry. It will take time, but we have taken out the right path and investors are joining us. Now, compared to uh, traditional aviation fuel and indeed petrol, how efficient is it? Is it, is it really going to take over? Are we going to be filling our cars with well, the kind of oil you're talking about? The good news is that it contains about 10% more energy, so a plane can fly about 5 to 10 percent further than with ordinary kerosene. And, it, and the plantations absorb CO2. It gives work because a lot of it is harvested manually. So there are many, many positive aspects. And between the crops, the jatropha or the camelina, you can plant coffee or, or tomatoes, for instance. And that keeps the soil very fertile. It effectively creates new agricultural land if done properly. Well, it sounds absolutely fascinating. Thank you so much for sharing all that with us today. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Now, coming up next, we will be in Athens. Uh,